So we'll be splitting this tutorial into two parts, and we'll be starting with the right hand. And so on the right hand, you're basically going to be doing a waterfall. And if you don't know how to do that, make sure you check out the tutorial on our channel. So once you know how to do the waterfall, you'll basically be doing it, but with the cards facing upwards. And you'll be releasing the cards in this circular motion. The range of this circle is actually relatively small, only about 10 centimeters. So moving on to the left hand, you'll be catching the spread like so. And this works because as you're catching the spread, you'll be applying sudden pressure onto the first few cards. And this pressure should be able to keep the rest of the spread in place. And so that'll allow you to grab the cards upside down like so. So bring your two hands together. Before you do the waterfall with your right hand, you want to have your left hand in this position here. Another option is to move your left hand into position as you're doing the waterfall, but this will make the move a lot harder to do. So once you have your left hand in place, you want to do the waterfall with your right hand around this position here, under the wrist of your left hand. So as you do the waterfall, the cards should naturally spread out and move upwards. And you want to catch these cards by clamping it with these four fingers here as soon as it contacts your left palm. All right, so be grabbing the spread like so. And to close, you want to simply have your right hand come over and square the spread by moving to the right. And then you just flip the deck and you're back in dealer's grip. An alternative closer would be to first turn your hand back around and then close with your right hand. So here we have six tips to help you practice this move. The first is to use a broken in deck. Because you'll be doing the waterfall, you want the cards to be relatively soft and not too slippery. The second tip is that while you're doing the waterfall and releasing the cards, you want to keep this circular motion relatively small because the cards will very naturally spread out so you don't have to overdo the circular motion. So the third tip is that while you're catching the spread, you want to twist your wrist downwards, like so. If you do not, you will not have enough pressure to retain the spread in place. So the fourth tip is that when you're doing the waterfall, you want to make sure that it's as even as possible. Because when you catch the cards, if it's not even, then the last few cards will very easily fall off due to not enough pressure being retained. So the fifth tip, is that while you're doing this move, it is helpful to start off small. This will help you get the moves down and you'll be able to catch the spread more consistently. Once you can do that, you can then challenge yourself by making the spread larger. And you can do that by increasing the speed of this circle you draw. And you can also increase the distance between your two hands as you're doing the waterfall. So the last tip is that this move, like most other aerials, may seem daunting at first because you'll most likely be dropping cards while you practice the move. So make sure you find a bed or a sofa or somewhere you can pick up the cards easily to practice the move. But once you practice enough, you should be able to get this move relatively consistently.